Good, e good evening, everybody. Um, Jeff Hadley. I'm the Chief of Police for the Chatham County Police Department. I'm accompanied this evening by Will Clark with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This afternoon, Chatham County Police Department detectives arrested 22-year-old Lilani Simon and charged her with malice murder, concealing the death of another person, false reporting, and making false statements in connection with the disappearance and death of her son, 20-month-old Quentin Simon. Lilani Simon is being held at the Chatham County Detention Center and is awaiting a bond hearing. We do not anticipate any other arrests in this case. She has been the sole suspect from the beginning. On Friday, our search teams at the Waste Management Landfill found what they believed were human remains. This afternoon, the FBI lab in Quantico, Virginia confirmed that they are, in fact, human remains. Additional testing, including a DNA analysis, is being conducted, and we have every reason to believe that this will confirm the remains are Quentin's. This is a heartbreaking development for everyone who loved Quentin, for the many people who came to know him after his disappearance, and for our department. When we first received the call that Quentin was missing, we were hopeful that we would find him alive and unharmed. But as we have been telling you for weeks, all of our evidence pointed to his mother being responsible for his death and disappearance and his remains being found in the landfill. I would like to thank the many people and agencies who worked hard to ensure that Quentin was found, that he would have a proper resting place and that justice would be served. First and foremost, I want to thank the FBI. We are incredibly grateful for their invaluable assistance their expertise, their manpower, resources, and guidance are unmatched and were crucial in our efforts to find Quentin. They were on the scene within three hours of Quentin being reported missing and have assisted with every aspect of this investigation. The resources they poured into the landfill search are extraordinary and are the reason that we were able to find Quentin. I can't thank them enough. Chatham County Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division also deserves special recognition. Their devotion to Quentin, to making sure this crime did not go unsolved, is an example of police work at its finest. Our detectives worked tirelessly and were determined to follow every lead and uncover every piece of evidence in this case. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation, Chatham County Sheriff's Office, and Department of Natural Resources all had officers searching the landfill alongside our officers and the FBI. The support of the Chatham County Emergency Management Agency, Chatham Emergency Services, Chatham Occupational Safety and Health, Savannah Police and Savannah Fire also were invaluable in this massive effort. Finally, I would like to thank the many people who showed their support for our department during this incredibly difficult and important investigation. We appreciate those who kept faith in the system and waited patiently for evidence we needed to make sure Quentin has every opportunity to receive the justice he deserves. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to Will Clark, who has some comments from the FBI. Good evening. My name is Will Clark. I'm the Senior Supervisory Resident Agent of the Savannah and Brunswick offices of the FBI. One month ago, we began this landfill search alongside Chatham County Police Department with one purpose in mind, and that was to find Quentin and to bring him home. On Friday, search crews from the FBI in Chatham County found what we preliminary, preliminarily believe are partial remains from a human child. Those bones were immediately sent to our lab in Quantico, Virginia. Additional testing for potential confirmation is now underway. It could be days before we have final results. What happened to this 20-month-old child is unthinkable. No child should be harmed by anyone, let alone the person in their lives that should be their protector. This investigation does not end here. There is more work to do. The FBI, along with our law enforcement partners, will continue to find justice for Quentin. Thank you. We'll appreciate that. We'll try to answer some questions that you may have. Uh, just be mindful that there's many we may not be able to answer, um, but we'll be willing to take some questions at this time. Do you have one that are found bones in the landfill? We found human remains, yes, ma'am. Do you believe 
I, I didn't hear the first part. I'm sorry. Do you believe that Quentin Simon was alive when he was in the landfill? Do you believe he, was, he died before he was put in that dumpster? Uh, I can't answer that question. He's charged with launch with murder. Uh, do you, can you speak on whether you think it was accidental or intentional? I can't speak to that. Can you talk a little bit about what evidence you all confirmed or learned on Friday that you all can go ahead and make federal judge specifically for the case away from the case you heard earlier on? Earlier on? Well, as we had said from the beginning with the landfill, we had every belief that Quentin was there in the landfill. Um, having found um, what we found on Friday and the preliminary um, findings from the FBI um, that we got today um, led us to make an arrest today. We feel that we have a very strong case. We have put thousands of hours into this, um, and we believed um, that this was the right move today to be able to do that. Um, she doesn't deserve a Thanksgiving, quite frankly, if I can go off, off script a little bit. Quentin deserves that. You said that you didn't believe any other arrest would be made. Are you guys looking into Billy Joe at all? We are not. And so you, just to confirm and um, kind of clarify that you all were looking to find some sort of remains from the body to go ahead and use in order to make an arrest. That's correct. You would the charge have been the same in this case had you not made that discovery on Friday? Say if this case had continued, if the search found nothing in the landfill, would you Well, it was very significant, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, we do believe we had a strong case otherwise, um, but that would have been in counsel with the uh, Chatham County District Attorney's Office, but we believe we had a strong case otherwise. You've certainly been very personal about this, and you said at that landfill that day with the picture behind you, you said, we want to make sure we bring Quentin home and give him a final place to rest. We want to do what we can to make sure he wasn't in that job. On Friday, how personal was that find for you? Well, it... It was very personal, quite frankly. I mean, there's a lot of aspects to that. I mean, knowing the hard work that went in to this investigation, everybody, not just Chatham County Police Department, but everybody that chipped in, the FBI, GBI, DNR, Chatham County Sheriff's Office, the civilians, you name it, from A to Z, we were 100% committed to bringing justice for Quentin. And to appreciate the amount of human effort the amount of human emotion that goes into a case like this and to appreciate, hopefully, that um, this comes to a conclusion uh, in terms of a, a conviction and things of that nature, um, you know, you have a lot of emotions about that. You also have a lot of emotions as just a general human being, um, as a person who has children. Um, you see the impact that that has on people. So if you step back and, and, and take a moment to, to kind of absorb that, I think that um, if, you, if you didn't have any feelings about that, you might have to ask yourself a few questions. Like, 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 the search in the landfill, the remains that I found on Friday, was there any evidence you guys found in the search that you guys did on the cell phone and the computer that they say that also led to the arrest? I can't answer that. Uh, no. Chief, you said this preliminary, what, you would assume there isn't other human remains in that landfill, but until you get a cop 100% confirmed that these are other remains, what makes you confident to make the arrest today? Um, I can't get into the high level of detail, but just on some of the preliminary uh, information that we got from the FBI, um, we're, we're, we have a high uh, level of confidence that those are Quentin's remains. Um, and we felt that we needed to make uh, the arrest today um, because that was the right thing to do. Chief, there's a lot of pressure in the arrest. What kind of remains are we talking? Any more specific details about No, ma'am. Go ahead, Chief. Uh, this case has been one that has made national news. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of pressure against you personally with your name as a mouth of protesters, as a mouth of people in the community. Mm -hmm. You've gotten a lot of pressure about making this arrest stay here today. Well, you know, I didn't honestly feel a lot of pressure, quite frankly, um, only because I believed in our investigative process, um, the expertise that we were seeking that was around us, 
um, you know, having a little bit of experience, you know, in this profession, um, I understand, I understood people's perspective. I understood that, you know, some people had their own strong feelings about when an arrest should be made and, and things that were going on. But we stayed focused on what we know and what we know how to do. Um, and in conjunction with the FBI, we, we stayed the course. And so um, to those folks that supported us, to the citizens that believed in us and believed in our department, um, I thank you. And, and, and for those that had questions, that's their right to do so. This is America. You can have all the, all the opinions you want. But, um, you know, I'm just so proud of our team and where we're at today. Sure, sure there is. You know, I, I would be uh, uh, honest if I didn't say that there was, you know, some weight lifted off of the organization and, and, and particularly those detectives and investigators who were completely and 100 percent committed um, to seeking justice for Quentin. So there is um, a little bit of relief, but be mindful, there's still a lot of work to do um, and they're they're dedicated to doing that. And, and we want to see this to successful prosecution. Uh, we haven't made that decision yet. Uh, that's a decision point that we'll come to um, once we're able to get some more analysis done, um, and we'll confer with the FBI and see what the best course of action is. And then Leilani is also charged with uh, making false statements. What false statements did she make? I can't get into that. She's at the Chatham County Detention Center right now. Well, human remains, uh, some of that, are, some of, some of them are uh, human bones um, and some other um, evidentiary matters. So. And as far as the bonds, there, um, you all had some agreement to that would be I do not have that confirmed. Um, I do believe it will take place tomorrow, but I don't have any um, time or, or any confirmation on that. We, we did, you know, take her to the detention center rather late in the day, um, so I'm sure that information will come out. Leilani made a statement to me that um, she would turn herself in. Was there any talk of giving her that opportunity? No. Right. I see. Uh, you said in the beginning, uh, that, we'll, we'll read the language. You said that there's a very specific dumpster that this child was put in. Can you just give us the, like, the location of that, how far this was from the house or from the blast? I can't give you that information. I have one more question. Can you give Last me question. Question. It could take up to a week. Um, and the last, I have one last comment, and uh, I want to thank you guys. Um, because just like sometimes law enforcement gets the short end of the stick, you guys get the short end of the stick too. And you guys have been amazing, um, our local media, throughout this. You've been fair, you've been direct, you've asked good questions. Um, and you've, you know, given us some deference when we needed some deference. And so I just wanted to say thank you um, for your work um, that you do every day.